So hello friends, welcome back once again. You're watching Suraj K classes. Myself Suraj Sharma, and today what we are going to do, we are going to take one example which is already preloaded when you are uh, installing the FEMM that is actually finite element method magnetics. So in this, uh, there are uh, several number of tutorials which comes up with this uh, software. You have to do nothing. Uh, just for ease, you have to click on this open button and then it gets opened into the folder where, where it is saved. So uh, in my PC, it is saved in this location and in your PC, wherever it's saved, it will directly open it. And now the number of tutorials which are already preloaded into the software are onto your screen. What you have to select now is to select this cogging torque and this cogging torque that is the example we are going to see today so this is the example let me first uh, tell you the brief of this then after we will uh, directly start it no issue so let me first uh, brief you regarding this so this is the example of uh, one pmsm motor pmsm that is actually permanent magnet synchronous motors these motors are very popular nowadays because it is used in electric vehicles. In four wheelers, uh, you see the permanent magnet motors are used, uh, and in two wheelers also, it is the better efficient and uh, it is reliable. It is also giving the better torque capability, power capability. So that so see. So this is the model of one permanent magnet synchronous motor and it is like exterior permanent magnet it seems to be because the magnets you see these are the magnets there are four different magnets one magnet is this second one is this third one is this and fourth one is this there are four magnets in this motor which are mounted over the rotor shaft. Okay, this is the shaft where I have uh, written no mass. So this area, this round circle is shaft. This is the rotor area. And these are the four magnets which are installed over the rotor. Okay. Now see, this is the M19 steel, which is actually a stator part of this motor. And in this stator, there are slots. And you know, in slots, windings are wound. And windings are wound into, into the slots where you have the air region also. Because windings are wound like this, like this here, and air would be there. A small part of air would be there. But in this example, we are going to load it without winding. So we don't have winding in this model. That you have to see. We are going to observe here the cogging torque. Let me first tell you what is the meaning of cogging torque. The effect of permanent magnet magnetism, the magnetic field into the stator part. Actually, the cogging is the phenomena where the motor motors get chocked. It does not start because it has magnetic locking with the stator. So it is very essential and it is very important to study the cogging phenomena. And this model would tell you how this cogging is happening. What are the magnetic lines and in, in how many regions these magnetic lines are uh, getting observed. So this is the model here we will see. So now uh, uh, let me tell you first what is the material inside like air is there and this is the shaft. Once again let me tell you this is the rotor and these are four magnets ndfeb 32 mgoe so this is the magnetic property or the magnets are there the four different magnets this is the slot of the motor and this is made up of m19 steel right so this is the interior uh, you know interior structure of this motor i hope it's, it is now clear to you we are going to see and load this example how this magnetic phenomena is working in this so first click on this yellow button it will give you the number of nodes so see how many nodes are created 56,844 nodes are created right now let's see the second one we are going to crank it up we are going to crank it up to see what is actually happening inside the motor what is actually happening okay 
so it will take maybe around uh, one minute or 40 50 seconds we have to wait and it will, it will load the results for us all loaded now we have to click on this spectacle or this uh, button now we click on this see it is very beautiful very beautiful and you see the how magnetic lines are working as the magnets were aligned like n was here s was here for this also n was here s was here but for this magnet it was reversed here it was s and it was n so the, for these two magnets the magnetic orientation was same for these two vertical line magnets magnetic orientation was same and as uh, vice versa for this horizontal due to this this n is getting attracted to s and this magnetic field is working now see this magnetic field is working here like way this is also working here same way here also same way here also so this is giving us the result how this magnetic lines would appear inside a motor now we are going to study about the magnetic energy so see you have to click on this you know green button then you have to click on any middle part like there was air or there is slot i don't know but it is the one part of the motor middle of it i am clicking left clicking it and now i have to click on this integrator it will ask me what type of result i want to obtain so i want to obtain the magnetic field energy i will click on it and then i click on ok so it is giving me around 7.31 into 10 raised to minus of 7 joules so it is almost zero so no magnetic field or uh, no magnetic force uh, you will experience here or very negligible force will be experienced a middle part of the uh, uh, this uh, stator you can say which is you know coming in direct no magnetism here now I would like to see the magnetism here here I would like to see the magnetism now let's see how much of magnetic field energy here so you see the magnetic field energy has increased here this energy is coming 0 0.00826315 joules so it is much more than that of experience at the middle of it so it is very clear now at the age of this magnet the magnetic field is much more powerful than the middle of it and magnetic lines would appear something like this now we are going to change change a little a little change we are going to do here see what change I want to do I will tell you what change I want to do see I'm going to change the direction of this magnet it was minus 90 degree I'm going to put it 90 degree I'm going to reverse the direction of magnet now see this magnet is reverse and this is also means these two are now opposite and these two are in similar fashion what result I will get I want to check it out okay so nodes numbers are almost same I am want to crank it up it will take around 50 60 seconds let's wait for it how you change the direction of magnet that is very simple once you go here you have to right click on it and then put the space then that screen will appear like I, I will try to again show you how this thing is happening see I am right clicking on this then I am put hitting the space button and here you will see all the properties related to this magnet and here you can change okay I hope it is clear my uh, also this uh, crank up operation has been completed now it is the spec so I am clicking on this see the phenomena how beautiful it is see it is now distorted I have jeopardized the entire property of this magnet see see here this magnet is now reverse that is why the magnetic fields lines almost distorted for these two magnets it is very similar to what we saw last time but for this magnet it is now very much distorted and magnetic fields are also not getting made so much the magnetic field is not much here now see let's solve this now let's solve this I'm going to click here 
now i'm going to observe how much magnetism is here i'm going to click left click on this then left click on this then magnetic field energy i'm going to observe it is almost 0.026092 and uh, what property i'm going to observe here i want to see what type of property of uh, magnetism is here that also i want to check so here 0.082 almost four times you know so i have uh, made a little change so you can see if there is a change in the magnet directions while installing the magnet into the rotor if you have mistakenly uh, put the magnet into the reverse direction how this motor would react that is the live example in front of you guys see the magnetism would almost one fourth if you are going to change the direction okay so i hope this example is making it clear for you guys that how this magnetism works apart from this property there are so many other properties also that you can observe like uh, any any much any more results you can observe but as this uh, in this model no current is flowing there is no live part that is why losses would be zero and also the current would also be zero here see the current will also be zero here and other properties you also you can observe but you will uh, not be able to find uh, any other property uh, other than magnetic field co energy that is also same as magnetic field energy what we have already seen i hope this example is now clear to you all guys uh, thank you for watching this video if you are new please do subscribe to suraj ke classes we will bring more videos like this for you if you have any doubt in this if you want us to present one any other model apart from this also let us know in the comment box we will meet you soon just stay connected thank you so much